breaking news from ESPN is that Naheem Hines is traded from the Indianapolis Colts to the Buffalo Bills. And the Buffalo Bills had been seeking an experienced pass catching back. There had been rumors tying the Bills to Christian McCaffrey sweepstakes. Um, you know, Cam Akers was involved in some some preliminary trade talks, according to rumors. Uh, Janie McKissick obviously signed uh, signed with the Bills and then reneged on that to go back to Washington. And uh, the Buffalo Bills had drafted James Cook, and and Cook has played fine during his time in Buffalo, but it was clear that the Bills are in Super Bowl contention. And you probably based on the compensation that they're giving up, the the trade for Naeem Hines most likely makes sense. And, you know, Naeem Hines is still probably going to play behind Devin Singletary, okay? But, um, you know, it has to be encouraging that they're going out and getting Hines. You can think of him still in his role as a third down back, uh, which... You know, is was it what he was on Indianapolis for the last however many years? Uh, but it's also encouraging. You know, on the flip side, let's move to Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor had been running the most routes per game of his career going into this Naheem Hines trade, and now we expect that Jonathan Taylor is going to be you know running a lot more routes. I know that it's Sam Ellinger moving forward at quarterback, but it still has to be encouraging that, that Jonathan Taylor is going to be the one running these routes. Now, Taylor is still dealing with a bum ankle, an ankle injury, so you have to wonder who's the next man up, and I think it's pretty clear it's going to be Deontay uh, Jackson. Uh, Deion Jackson, I'm sorry. Deion Jackson, the, the running back phenom uh, from a couple weeks ago, who was the running back one overall when both Hines and Jonathan Taylor were out. He had 10 receptions on 10 targets in that game. So you have to think that the coaching staff would use him in a similar role if Jonathan Taylor is limited in any capacity, especially in the, the pass-catching realm. So uh, I think Deion Jackson jumps into that role that Naeem Hines had previously held. Uh, it, nothing more than you know a low-end running back three, uh, maybe high-end running back four, you know, 30 35 to 40 running back moving forward with, as we saw, running back one upside in that Colts offense. So, yeah, that's those are some takeaways from this. I really don't think it moves any needle for Sam Ellinger. It doesn't move the needle for Josh Allen uh, from a fantasy perspective. Uh, Devin Singletary, it does limit his pass-catching routes. Obviously, uh, Naeem Hines is not going to take away you know, significant carries from Devin Singletary, but you have to think that the pass catching is mostly going to go to Naeem Hines. That's the role there that he's known for, that they traded for, and that the Bills have been in pursuit of over the last uh, year. Okay, so that those are some takeaways. Uh, Naeem Hines still uh, a spike week candidate because he's on the Bills, uh, but. This is, I think, at least increasing uh, the ceiling for Naheem Hines. We had seen previous years where Naheem Hines' spike weeks had been, you know, running back five, running back ten overall. Uh, but I think this increases if, you know, he's in, involved in the Bills and left with some dump-offs that he gets room for. This is you know, higher spike week potential than what he was having on the Indianapolis Colts for 2022. So I think it's... Uh, you know, floor is the same for Naheem Hines, but increased ceiling. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that it's good for good for his upside, good for your best ball leagues. Uh, for starting, I, I don't think he changes. You know, he's a, a flex consideration, desperation flex consideration every week with upside potential. Uh, so that those are some takeaways from this Bills trade uh, receiving Naheem Hines from the Indianapolis Colts.